I mentioned in my tweet at how Kiermanse gets you 75% of the way there and then you just bring the UI. To show this, I've got an idea that I want to add to this application. Um, I haven't planned how we're going to do it, but I want to record how I would go around building it and show you how all of the building blocks that we already have built out for us make it incredibly fast to, to build. Um, so first things first, I'll explain. I want to now have the ability, once I've completed a book, to review it. Um, and the idea that I have is that as soon as you mark a book as completed, we had that field uh, in the books model, uh, then there will be a UI element that pops up to create a new review. And once you've created that review, that will disappear and that review maybe will show in the in the books page. Uh, so let's first maybe um, make a commit here just so we have a clear delineation and I can upload this later. So let's say init command and generate uh, clear here and let's check out uh, a new, I think this is Big B, I never remember, uh, feet slash reviews. Great, awesome. So first things first, I'm gonna run a new generate command to generate the reviews, uh, reviews table. Uh, the reviews model, sorry. Uh, so each review is going to have content. Yep, require, oh, see, I messed that up sometimes, and that's a product feature that's gonna have to come soon. Um, so let's try that again. Reviews, every review is going to have a content field. Uh, is this field required? Yes, I do wanna add another field, and that's gonna be a reference to the book itself. Um, I do want this to cascade on delete. No other fields, no index, I do want timestamps, and I do want this model to belong to the user, yes. Yes, uh, no child models, uh, and I wanna add reviews to the sidebar, great. So let's run quickly, let's just see that it works, bond db generate, bond db migrate, uh, bond dev, head over to the, um, back to the browser. So we got a book here. Um, if we head to reviews, we should be able to write a new review and see the book. Uh, again, this is like a classic um, thing that we need to change. If we search the project for to do and we head to the review form, you'll see that it flags right away that select item and we can say book.title. Thank you TypeScript for telling us what we need to do. And then if we select a book here, we've got build. So this is our rough review page, but this isn't really great. This isn't how we want to do it. What I would like to do is if we head over to the books page, here we are here. Um, I'd like to, once I mark completed as true, maybe have a button here to, to leave a new review. So let's try it. Let's see, let's see what we can do. Um, so I think we're gonna have to do a few things. First, we're, gonna, we're probably gonna have to new, make a new query that for the book to get reviews. Um, maybe we do a left join. So let's go to queries for the books. Um, let's go down to get book by ID. And I think here, if we save, it should format a little bit nicer. Let's maybe make, uh, let's add a new left join here. And this is going to be reviews. We'll pull that in and we'll say books dot, or we'll say uh, books dot ID equals reviews dot ID. So. That should be good to go. And then the last thing we'll want to do is add here, uh, review, and we'll say, um, oh, I'm doing this in the wrong function. Funny, funny that I wasn't really paying attention. Uh, so if I go down, we wanted to do it here. So yes, we want to do it here. Let's do the same thing as we did before, but we need to remove that semicolon, save. Uh, we're going to pull in again, review, we're going to join left join with reviews. We're gonna say book.id equals uh, reviews dot um, book ID. Great. And then in here, we're gonna pull in the review as row dot. Um, oh yeah, we gotta pull it in the select as well. We're gonna say review is reviews. Great. And then now if we go there, row dot uh, review. So in theory now, if we were to go to book and we um, if we head to the book ID page we can do it I think let's do it in the nested page so we're gonna do it here and let's I hate when I tap to the wrong place let's go we're gonna go back to authors and let's go to the book where it exists within the author 
great. It's right here. Cool. Um, and let us pop it into very quickly. Let's let's just stringify what we're getting back. If we go back to here, we should be able to. Um, let's get authors. Here we've got get book by ID. Oh, we've done it in the wrong function. So we'll want to add it to that function now. Um, we could just do the call to, no, let's do it. Yeah, let's do, let's update it. So these things happen uh, when you're building and you're not really, you never really done it before. So we're gonna add that there, uh, right? This should all be fine. Uh, we want to take this uh, VT here and we're gonna pop it in this select field there. Great. We'll remove it from here and now we should be able to, I've probably broken quite a lot here. Very possible, very likely. Um, so book quotes, book, so that's our book quotes and there's our book reflections. And maybe let's do one more called book reviews and we'll call this book BRE. And we'll say uh, r dot review r dot review and this is going to be a complete review let's see yeah that looks and that looks about right reviews um and bre let's see have we broken everything this is the this is always the question so reviews pull them in nothing broken yet uh let's pop it to the well let's pop it actually under the optimistic book let's add a pre uh, json stringify and pull in our reviews and see what we got nothing because we got no reviews obviously if we create a new review testing and we head back to this page look at that so again kind of very relatively straightforward but now that we have this it should be relatively easy to do the rest so what do we want to do we want to basically say um const has review um and we'll say reviews dot length is greater than zero uh, reviews is possibly undefined that is true so if reviews Uh, then it's otherwise it is false. Great. Okay. Uh, so we want to say, let's again, let's just add it to the top for ease. We're going to in here, we're going to say if has review, if has review equals false and um, book dot completed equals true, then we'll, I don't know, print needs review otherwise nothing so our book's completed we need to get rid of our review like last time so let's go in here let us delete this in theory now when we go to our authors and our book here we should say needs review great so um and i think actually i am going to go like this I'm going to return some react code otherwise no uh, great and then in here what do we want to do we probably want a an h3 maybe let's do border 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 a bit convoluted but now that adds that great an h3 that says uh, leave uh, write a review about book dot title great um cn we're gonna do text to excel um font uh semi bold how's that no that's too big uh let's say excel and then let's just say font medium cool and then in here all we have to do now this is where things get cool is you put the review form import that see what we need we need uh, we have no review, so that's fine. Books, we're gonna fill this just empty array. We give it a book ID, and this is where things get really cool. If we put in book.id, 
Uh, and then we we also have a post success function, which we'll look at in a second. Um, but now, uh, right, because this is a client component and we don't have the client boundary set on here. So if we go up here and we just set use client, here we go, look at that. So looks pretty trash, but what we can do is in this area, we can just add a ton of padding, uh, maybe around here, a div padding, let's say eight. How's that gonna be? Cool. And actually we can bring in the H3 as well. Uh, so look at that. Um, you could say something like, now that you've finished the book, what did you think? Um, I hate the zeros. Uh, that's what. And ls quad. Was that it? Yeah. Okay. Great. So now we can leave a review here. Let's give it a go. I really loved this book. Want to read more like it? And if I submit, if I hit enter, play that. We've got a review. And perhaps instead of no, we can do uh, a, I don't know, a, a div with an H3 again. Maybe we copy this H3 in, VIT, paste that in. Um, corresponding, yeah, we need uh, your review. H3, great. And then in here, we just have a p tag and we say book dot or uh, reviews zero dot content. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, like, okay, maybe this took 15 minutes because I wasn't thinking about this, but like, it's crazy. Uh, that was the, the pieces are there already. So if we do second book, not completed because you're reading it right now of course, because uh, reviews doesn't exist. Um, so we say if reviews, otherwise not, I don't know why we need to, uh, right, has review, let's just do that. I need to refresh the server. Look at that. So. Uh, we shouldn't be printing actually the has review. Um, maybe we do book dot completed first. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. And then basically it would be something like, like we'll add one more here and that's if has review is false then we do that otherwise we do that otherwise no um that should wrap around like this is that gonna work that should work now great okay a bit of city quick code but let's say oh you're writing around you finish your book you complete save now you can write your review i really enjoyed it save and now you got your review there like it's really, and then all your reviews are here. And we could, if we wanted to go to our review list, I can go down, um, I can go down to the review component, come down here. And then let's say in review.content, we actually want to pull in the review.book.title. And so now we can see the review right there. Like this is, it's just, it's fast. It, you think, oh, that's what I wanna do. And and you do it. I, the the hard stuff is already kind of coded for you. So sorry, this was very long winded, very long, not very <laughs> not thought out or anything. But I hope it shows you that how fast you can start iterating with with Kiramase. And uh, so yeah, please make some cool stuff and, and show me what you make. Thanks a lot.